Hola and bienvenidos a todos. Welcome back, masters and princesses. Today, we're going to be listening to a project that is branched out from Bandmade. So you're probably like, oh, but it's supposed to be Bandmade Sunday. Well, I believe that in the heart of celebrating projects, we should celebrate Miss Miku Kabato in her project of Klupo. Everyone's been saying like, oh, you should check out the other like project that has come out of Bandmade. And I'm not sure if this was necessarily an April Fool's joke, but I've seen pictures and snippets of Klupo in general, and it doesn't look like a joke. Like, it, well, even Ban Maiko doesn't even seem like a joke, but it's like, taken very seriously and done really well. So I'm assuming with the artistic mind of Miss Miku, it's probably gonna be really good. So I'm excited to jump into this, but before we jump in, if you like the channel, please like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it just helps my channel grow and it's kind of fun to see who else we can reach out to. Also, I have a Patreon. There's like more exclusive content. Like for instance, I just recorded some reactions to a band called Teleside and another Korean rock band called Jung Hee Hoon. And I actually just did a three-way comparison of Miku Kabato's voice in the song Sayanaki Dori. So that's up there and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're interested in that at all, that's there. Anyway, Let's get right into it. I'm excited. <laughs> I now have a cavity. Coming straight from Saya Nakadori, I spoke a lot about how her voice naturally has this sweeter, innocent, childlike, just maybe in general more youthful sound to it. And this is even more of that concept, that idea that I'm hearing in her voice. And What's even more insane about this is this is not rock. This is like poppy. This kind of voice, this kind of song is like at the beginning of like an anime that's for girls that are ready to fall in love or it's a loved style anime. That's immediately what came to my mind. Oh my goodness. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker for pop, so I love the beginnings. So I'm going to start right where the music starts, so that way you don't have to go too far back. The electric sounds. Unbearable sorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is like straight on. <laughs> the pop style.
here's my question. Is most of this studio produced or did her bandmates help her with this? And like, you can tell there's real instruments in the background. Like there, there are some real instruments. A part of me is wondering if that bass is real. I can't tell without like seeing the instruments being played. Now, the drum set does sound real. So I'm wondering if that's one of the real things that is actually coming through. Is there a guitar? There's actually layering of strings, like orchestral instruments. You can obviously add strings to keys, that's a thing. But yeah, there's underlay of strings. So this is interesting. Let's keep going. Okay, there's guitar. Wait, before she gets into that, because that's turning into a different thing. I love the change in style. Her voice is very, very suited for this kind of style of music. And I think she knows that. So, because obviously, why else would she create a project that's so pop style? She knows. She's, she's smart. She's very smart because she's playing off of her abilities of that you know, higher pitched voice and the chest voice, head voice, and also the words, like the words are playing on my emotions. I really like, she's really, she's working it here. Like really working it. Like listen to her voice and the addition of her, like everything else around, like it's just so suited for this genre. a more like head voice with some nasal sound to it as well and I love it. And the, the holding back of power in her voice for this section her more powerful voice here. Everybody! 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. What I love about this is that there's still some remnants of band made in here because every verse has gained something so far. So what I mean by that is like we started out at the beginning, very simple. There was nothing added. Like what I do mean by this is that the song itself, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, simple form, right? And we just had a bridge, like a small little bridge here with vocal, with words. We Sometimes we don't get that. You Sometimes we get instrumental bridge, but we got a, you know, vocal bridge here. And what's neat is that every single section has added a little bit more. So the first time we had that or like very light orchestration of just a little bit of a beat, some electronic sounds, some of the bass, and then maybe some underlying orchestra orchestrated sound we got guitar drums bass orchestra sound with a little bit of the intermittent clapping that happened in that section and then we had that bridge that was like take away the drum beat a little bit and now we're building tension by hearing all those like the rise in pitch and in tonality and then we're now at the section where we lost sound but then you can tell it's gonna get bigger here at the end Yeah, we just have the little symbols in the background. Little piano interludes. And now all the instruments. And just to go back to the beginning, that's we we go right back to where we ended. No, no, she, ma'am, ma'am, I love that. And then it stops. They did such a good thing with that chord progression. It's so good. I can't, I can't even, look, it is midnight. I teach at 7.30 in the morning. My, oh, it is almost 1 a.m. I teach at 7.30 in the morning. I don't know why I'm recording at this hour. It's the only free time I have this week. The end of the school year is a bitch, y'all. <laughs> it's hard. I'm trying. But this, she needs to do more of this. Okay, what I'm about to say might sound offensive, but I'm not trying to be offensive at all. She started Bandmade, right? And then they needed a front man, front woman, for their band. And they ended up looking for somebody and they got Psyche, right? Which, amazing addition to the band. Lovely addition. And then M M Miku now knows how to play guitar and 
is getting better and keeps getting better and it's it just keeps getting good right so why not have a side project like that the, the, there's so many bands out there that have so many side projects why shouldn't she keep going with this like this wasn't an April Fool's joke, was it? Like, it's nothing they do is a joke. Let me make that clear. Everything they do is so well thought out, well planned, well done. This is art at its finest. And I want more of this. I will say this over and over and over again. And I will keep saying it until I'm in the ground or in a furnace somewhere. I love every genre of music. And this definitely feeds into my like my girly soul this is music i'd be like again i would be doing my makeup to it having a good time and being like i'd be like singing along having a great time it's hard not to sing to this miko you're sleeping on this baby you need to do this more like i saw only what four songs on the youtube channel excuse me this isn't enough we need more. But she's a busy girl, so I assume that's also why she's like, mm, mm I love this, though. I love it. It's great. All right, so if you would like to continue the conversation about music, feel free to leave comments down below. What do you think about Klupo? I know I love it. I think it's great, and I want more of it, and hopefully more of it comes, like just like Ben Maiko. I hope more of that starts to show up at some point. But you know, projects are projects. Sometimes people do them for fun and then they're like, yeah, that's over with and that's okay. But yeah, leave comments to them below. What do you think I missed? What do you think about this project in particular? I'm gonna go to bed because I'm gonna die tomorrow. It's happening. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to see you in the next video. And I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I will see you later. Peace out. <laughs>